let's take a look at the G clef, otherwise known as the treble clef. The objectives for this lesson are to review the musical alphabet, to review the musical staff, to review the difference between notes on the lines and notes on the space, to review the formula in music, to introduce the G clef, otherwise known as the treble clef, and finally to apply the G clef to the music staff. So let's review. And if any of these concepts are foreign to you, please go back and watch the musical staff and alphabet video. The musical alphabet is the same as the regular, except it just goes to G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it repeats over and over again. The staff is this image right here, which has five lines and four spaces in between. The way we know if a note's on a line or a space is we look at the note, and if a line goes through the middle of the note, that note is on a line. Otherwise, it's on a space. The formula in music was line space, line space, line space, line space. And if you don't know what I mean by that, please go back and watch the old video. So let's look at the G clef. It's also called the treble clef. And it looks like this. If you look at the G clef starting from here and curving down to here, you can notice that it looks a little bit like the letter G. And that's a way to remember that it's the G clef. The function of the G clef or the treble clef is to tell you where the letter G is on the staff. Let's look at it now. So here is a staff, five lines, four spaces in between. I'm putting my G clef right here. So what you need to do is you need to know your alphabet. So I'll put it here for reference and then if you look at the, this is the tip of the G clef and you see which line it touches last, which line it passes through last, you'll notice it is this line right here, the second line. Therefore, that is where the G is. And from using what we learned in the last video, if I know this note's a G, that's where it lines up. What note is this one in the space after it? Using the formula in music, we know that what comes after G is A. So now let's look at the next line after A. In this line, what note would be there? Well, simply it's what comes next in the alphabet, which is a B. And then we continue on. This space is C, this line is D, this space is E, this line is F. And then what would this space be? It would be G. What if I wanted to keep going up in my alphabet? What would I do? I would add a ledger line. That's what these are called. And I would continue adding lines and spaces as necessary. So when I put a note here on this line, it would be your A, and you would continue that way. So now let's go back to the G here, and let's go before the G. So this G is on a line. This space is before the G. So below the G, what letter would it be? It would be an F. How about this letter on the line before the F? Well, if you look at your alphabet and you use the formula in music, you would see that's an E. Continuing on, what about this space here? That's a D. And again, we've run out of spaces and lines. What do we do? We add a ledger line. We put the note on that. That's on the line, so therefore it's a C. And that's how your treble clef works. Thanks for watching.